Now let's take a look at using Kirchhoff's current rule where you're not sure the direction of each of the currents. And I've got a diagram set up here where I've got a current 1 coming in, a current 2 coming out, and a current 3. If current 3 is going out of the circuit, your equation would end up looking like this, with the I3 being on the outside of the equation. If the current was coming the other direction into the junction, then your I3 would be on the left-hand side as a current that's coming in. Now which one is it going to be? I don't know yet. Now there's a few different ways to work with this sort of situation. One is to make a guess and use that equation. And then depending on when you ultimately get a value for I3, if it's positive, the guess was in the correct direction. If you get a negative value, it must have been in the opposite direction. And I want to show you an example of both of those. Let's say I started out with a value of 5.2 amps for current 1 and 1.5 amps for current 2. Well, first of all, you can make a guess at this point as soon as you know it which way it probably goes. By noticing that the 5.2 amps is larger than the 1.65 amps, which implies I would need more current on this side of the equation to balance it out, which means it's probably that current 3 should, deserves to be on this side of the equation. And so when you set that up, you would actually put your current 3 going out and you'd use this equation. So let's actually plug that in. I would have an equation that would now look like this. 5.2 amps coming in, 1.5, 1.65 going out, plus the I3 is on the outside. And when I solve that, I'd get a value which was 3.55 amps. So again, my guess, which made sense, worked. But let's just say I went ahead and used this other equation. And I assume that the current was going in the opposite direction. So I assume that the current was going in to the circuit. Well, then I would need to use this version of the equation, which means that I would actually flip my one point, or my, not my one point, my current three over to the right hand side of the equation. If I solve that version of the equation, I would have to subtract the 5.2 over to the other side, and I would actually get an answer here, which would be a negative value. So when I assumed that the current 3 was on the left-hand side of the equation as something coming out, I got positive 3.55 amps, meaning it was going out. If I had assumed that my current 3 would be over on the right-hand side of the equation as 1 coming in, when I numerically solved it, I got a minus 3.55 amps. The current 3 still has a value of 3.55 amps, but here the minus sign meant that it wasn't going in. It was actually the opposite direction. So that minus current means use the other direction. But I could solve my problem. I don't know if I got this one. I would not have to go back and rearrange everything in order to get the right answer. I could use this as an understanding to get the correct value for the current, and then to know that it's really the opposite direction of what I've chosen there. So when you're using Kirchhoff's current rules, there are some times where you have to initially take a guess at the direction, but when you ultimately solve the math, that lets you know whether it was the correct direction or whether it was the incorrect direction. If you have any questions on this, let me know.